What up gamers, I'm Jason and today on Dyson Dragons, I'm going to be unboxing the Seventh Continent, the classic edition published by Sirius Pulp and designed by Ludovic Rowdy and Bruno Sauter. Now hopefully I pronounce all of those correctly. I do believe the publishing name is inspired by Pulp magazines and that style of fiction from the 1950s. If I got anyone's name wrong as well, please feel free to let me know down below in the comments. Now what is this classic edition of the Seventh Continent. Well, it is an edition that's been designed to fit on the shelves of your friendly local game store and be something that is a little bit more accessible than the Kickstarter edition. And like the Kickstarter edition, this is a solo or cooperative game. This story takes place at the turn of the 20th century. Well, turn of the 19th century to the 20th. I might have said that wrong, but you get the idea. It is the beginning of the 20th. You are an explorer, you just got back from a recent expedition and you are cursed. In order to lift the curse, you're going to journey on an adventure, as I said, either by yourself or with up to three other adventurers in order to lift the curse and explore the seventh continent and hopefully save yourself and have a fantastic adventure. Now this game is inspired by the fa sorry, fighting fantasy books. That was a little tricky to get off the tongue. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at what's in the box. But one point I wanna make, this is really gonna be a spoiler light unboxing. So don't expect to see anything that's gonna ruin your experience. Now let's take a look at what's in the box for the Seventh Continent, the classic edition. Eager to see what's inside. Been very interested in this game. So here we've got just a little bit of some uh, promotion. Just tells you what add-ons you can get for this classic edition and you can get some more curses. So we'll just move that off to the side. Now we've got the rule book. The rule book doesn't have like a glossy feel or, or anything like that. It feels a lot more like paper and that's something that I do like because as you can see, it's like a notepad we see with those notes and I feel that it works well with just the theming of the game in terms of your questing around this continent and you know your rules are just on a sheet of paper instead of some fancy rule book with high production value i do like the layout of this rule book and looks like we've got everything we need in there there is some nice references on the back of it so if you do need to use them you can always keep the rule book handy now we've got some tokens so it looks like these are the different adventurers that we're going to be able to play so we've got uh some other tokens here and then uh, not sure what the fire is for like i said uh, we haven't gotten this to the table as of yet so here we do have another reference sheet so that's good i always like when we get reference sheets in games now we're going to take a look at what's already open before we start opening some stuff up now so this explains just the preparation and storage so we've got different sections of cards. So I don't think we're gonna be opening up all these card packs. So as you can see, just what you need for organization as you progress through the game. We've got these ones that are numbered one, two, and three, four. So other areas of the game, I'm guessing these are different chapters. We've got dividers for the skills. Now here we've got a few other dividers. So for character skills, advanced skills, save the past and Spanish cards, so cards that we have gotten out of the game entirely. So we'll just place these back in the box. Let's see what else we've got here. So we do get some six-sided dice. And there are the mini dice, which I do like, actually. I prefer larger dice, but it does feel a little bit thematic with this game. The smaller box, smaller dice. So we get a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dice. Now, what's also nice about these is if you don't love them, well, you can definitely get some more dice. Since uh, they're not proprietary or anything like that, you can always use larger ones. And then here we've just got the bases for the standees. Actually, what I'll do just to keep things a little bit uh, more organized, Let's take the dice and place them in the same bag as the standees, and then I'll reorganize it all at a later time. 
Now, I don't want to go ahead and spoil anything, but we'll, we'll take a look at what we're getting in terms of these card packs. So actually, you know what? I'll leave the dividers out. So let's see. So we've got cards labeled 211 to 250, 284. So as we're exploring, these are the packs of cards that we're going to go through and we're going to find things like new character skills, I'd imagine, and also things related to the curse that we're trying to lift. Let's take a look at what we have here in the front. So oh, these are the back. So these are your seventh continent cards. These are looks like those level one, level two and three cards. So one and two are probably here. So this has got to be three and four. Um, probably take a peek at the seventh continent cards. Let's actually just start taking things out. Figure out the way everything was put in there. So these look to be the more like skill cards, some other higher level cards. And then this is, looks to be like where we're gonna start. So you know what? Let's put stuff back. The box, I don't wanna take, <laughs> get everything out of order before I start playing it. We'll leave those there. Let's take a look at what we can expect from just the setup and the location. Like I said, I don't want to go into spoilers really for the game. So we'll just look at card zero, zero. So it explains how you rest and recuperate, return the card. So it seems like an explanation. So you can find meat that you'll need to survive. Those are all zero, zero, one cards. So these are what, what you're gonna find. Now there are special ones, so you can actually find special special cards, which is pretty cool. A whole bunch of zero, zero, 002 cards. So fish, let's see what we have here. So zero, zero, 003 is experience points. Looks like you can get bonus experience points. And then this just gives us an example of the terrain as we're exploring this newfound continent. So. I don't want to reveal too much, but we'll just take a look at two of these cards. So we're going to be laying this out to build a map. Not quite sure how these two fit together. Well, find out when we get it to the table. So now that I've taken a look at that, I'm going to place these cards back where they were. We'll take a look at these other packs quickly. So you can see 12, 46, 69, 101, 113, 147, and 178. Everything that you're going to need for a long epic campaign and I will take a peek at some of the other card packs so these are seventh continent cards and I do like the fact that they do open fairly easy it looks like this package here is just a little bit trickier because of the way the uh, way it peeled past well way it's sealed past but we'll get it open and Really trying to do this unboxing as spoiler light as possible. But if I just show you back the cards, it's really not all that entertaining. So we've got just all these seventh continent cards that we're going to be able to draw from. So things like examining notes, it'll tell you what you can take. Lucky stars. So it looks to be like these are some types of events that you're going to be getting in the game. So forewarned, so get some bonus stars. So, and uh, we've got some different items, kits, things like that that we can discover, weapons, a bow, camouflage outfit, war paint. So we get some pretty cool items with those seven incontinent cards that will boost us up. And then lastly, we had, take a look at one of these packs. Like I said, I'm still not sure how these numbered aspects relate to the game. And then uh, we'll call it quits there. I don't want to reveal too many more secrets and we'll get it all nicely boxed up. And then you'll see some uh, pictures coming on Instagram in a short while as Julie and I will start getting this game to the table. Now we haven't quite set a date for our review as of yet. We definitely want to dive in on this game because we know we've got quite a bit of content to it. So we want to make sure we get through uh, a solid chunk of it. So these are a level three, four, five and six things. And it looks like doing different directions will let you flip this. So let's not spoil much. Let's just flip like a level three. So it's an item you found. And depending on your skills, it looks like you can 
discard this. It could be good, could be bad. It's got a die symbol. We'll find out what all of that means when we learn how to play the game. And you, our viewers, will find out as well once we do the how to play. And we'll take a quick peek at the bottom of these, this stack of Seventh Continent cards. So as you can see, it looks to be like more items, stuff that we've already seen, so there's not much point in me opening it up. What I do like about this, as you can see, game is definitely compact. We've got everything in here. I'm looking forward to figuring out how to get it organized. What's really nice too is not a lot of components to sort of sort and deal with. Really only have the, uh, tokens here that we're going to have to find a baggie for in storage. So everything fits back in here rather nicely. Now, normally I throw the promo stuff out, can hang on to it, provides a little bit of protection. Also, I want to have an idea as to how I can expand the game if I do enjoy it. So there you have it. This is the Seventh Continent, the classic edition. Now keep it right here as I'll be coming back at you with a quick Outro. Thank you very much for watching everyone. If you like what you saw, don't forget to click that like button, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when our next video is released. Also down below in the video description, you will find links to all of our social media feeds, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you'd like to see some pictures of Julie and I playing the seventh continent, well, just take a look at us at one of those places. Also popping up in front of me will be links to some of our previously released content. The one over here will take you to our most recently released video. The other one is gonna take you back to one of our other big, long campaign style games. Haven't decided which one yet, but uh, don't worry, it will be in line with The Seventh Continent. And then once our review and how to play has been completed for the game, it will take you to that. Now, with that being said, don't forget, keep playing games.